Oh, pleasure is mine uh, to be here at the ETBFSI. It's uh, uh, always ET is always very very close to our hearts. Um, so currently, what we have raised money is 90 million. Is going most of this money will go towards building the same what we do, uh, providing more financial inclusion, go deeper into the uh, deeper into our markets. Uh, I think more and more we go towards tier two, tier three cities, built uh, and continue to expand our product offerings. And uh, uh, we think that this money will help us in really building the uh, next phase of our company's growth, uh, which should double up uh, uh, whatever we have achieved till date. Uh, and it's also a validation of uh, uh, the investor faith into the business models of digital lending. Uh, and we believe that over a, uh, over a long period of time, uh, this fundraise uh, shall help company to become much larger, better uh, uh, into times to come. Uh, I think the compliance is currently a very, very big topic uh, uh, in the last uh, 12 to 18 months. Uh, uh, compliance has become a core word in the financial services industry, it's not just fintech, across the board. And I believe it's rightly so. Uh, uh, if we are in a financial regulated businesses, we need to ensure that we are following the compliances of the uh, compliances given by the regulator. Uh, and uh, this, I don't believe this is a cost uh, in a large sense. It is something which is a a part which allows you to build the businesses in a right way uh, and which goes long way. Uh, like uh, one of the regulators rightly uh, told me that uh, compliances is a brake which you need in your car to ensure that you can accelerate better, faster. Without brake, you can't accelerate. And similarly, compliances allows us to build a very uh, basic fundamental framework to build the company uh, uh, at a scale. Uh, Coming back to the point, uh, how much compliance cost has gone up? Uh, yes, definitely we need to add more people around uh, compliances. We need to ensure that uh, there is a uh, there is always a uh, constant monitoring of things. But what we also realized by doing that, there is an immense cost saving in the way of uh, detection of fraud faster, uh, and uh, various associated cost has come down. So the compliance cost, in a way, has compensated for the other cost, uh, other revenue leakages or the expenses leakages coming down uh, as you build, start building a compliances function. Uh, as a uh, company, we always believed that if we really want to build a very, very large scale financial services businesses, it can be done only with a reasonable profits. Uh, we cannot really burn capital uh, given the fact that there is a large cost of capital which we incur while uh, uh, servicing our loans and servicing our customers. So you need to remain profitable to gain the confidence of the markets for, uh, from a lending perspective. And uh, we believe that we will continue to uh, generate profits in the, uh, in the next years to come. And uh, that profit shall remain in line with the business growth which we see. Uh, and that's where we have raised this capital to ensure that the growth momentum remains uh, uh, maintained and it uh, continue to evolve uh, along with the uh, whatever economic conditions and uh, uh, the market sentiments and the, the the market positioning. So we believe that the profit is an integral part of the building a very, very profitable long-term franchise. And we'll, uh, we, uh, we uh, believe uh, in that very, very strongly.